the ME51N transaction is used to create a purchase requisition. This procedure is used to manually enter a purchase requisition in GFIBS for the purpose of funds check and commitment of funds. Note, manually entered PRs, and DMLSS PRs, are subject to workflow approvals. Now we will demonstrate how to create a purchase requisition in GFIBS. Type the transaction code, ME51N, in the command field and press Enter. Click on the document type drop down menu and select SPSPR. Expand the header, if applicable. Enter a short description of what is being procured in the header note field. In this instance, it is laptop computers. Expand the item overview section, if it is not already. Enter, K, in the account assignment field. Enter laptop computers, in the short text field. Enter 25, in the quantity field. Enter EA, in the unit of measure field. Enter an amount in the val price field. Enter the delivery date, in the text field. Enter 252, B, in the material group field. Enter FSHA, in the plant field. Enter 24M, in the purchasing group field. Note, PGRP represents the last three alphanumeric combination of the DODAC for the contracting office. Enter J.P. Wilson, in the requisitioner field. Enter Army, in the purchasing organization field. Note, the purchasing organization is always Army. Press the Enter key to validate the entries. Click on the drop-down button located on the right side of the item screen. Select the Account Assignment tab. In the Cost Center field, enter 76VV0065. In the Fund field, enter 202010D17. In the Functional Area field, enter 131096Q log. In the Fund Center field, enter A76VV. Press the Enter key. Click on the drop-down button located on the right side of the screen and select the Customer Data tab. In the PR Gen Sub tab, enter the full name and telephone number of the point of contact. In this example, type in Michael Holiday and enter 912-435-7696. Click on the Workflow tab. Enter W87JNL in the Request or Approval DODAC text field. Click on the Contracts tab. Enter 443120 in the NAICS field. Enter 7022 in the PSC text field. Press the Enter key to validate the information. In the Item Overview section, Highlight line item 1 by clicking the gray box to the very left of the line. Click the copy icon. Update the short text to the description of line 2. In this instance, enter computer hardware parts. Change the quantity text field to 15. Change the valuation price text field to 1200. Press the Enter key to validate the information. Click on the drop down arrow and select line item 2 in which you have copied. On the Customer Data tab, Contracts sub tab, update the data in the NICS and PSC text fields, if applicable. Click the Check button on the menu bar for a systematic check of the purchase requisition.
Notice the informational message is displayed in the status bar which is in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Click the save button on the menu bar. Note the informational message in the bottom left of the screen stating purchase requisition created. You have successfully completed this transaction.